Welcome with our new lesson review of basic operations. In this lesson, our objectives is to learn how to add or subtract positive integers. Let us begin with addition. Addition symbol is plus. We say plus. And we ask you to make addition by the word add. We usually use many other words. From it, we understand that we must add two numbers, such as increase, more than, the sum, the total. All these words, we can understand from them that we want to add numbers. First example, add 238 plus 15 plus 9 plus 3564. You can add these four numbers horizontally and you can add them vertically. So just write the numbers vertically. and then start adding these numbers 8 plus 5 13 plus 9 22 plus 4 26 put 6 2 in the hand 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 1 6 plus 6 is 12 2 and 1 in the hand 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8, and bring 3 down. And so we have our answer, which is 3,826. Some questions come in a different way. For example, you will be given a diagram for an electrical circuit. shown on it the value of each resistance. For example, if we have the first resistance 3 ohms, the second one 15 ohms, the third one 7 ohms, the fourth one 20 ohms and the last one 5 ohms. The question is find the total resistance. And the answer here is just add these five resistance together. So it will be 3 plus 15 plus 7 plus 5 plus 20. And the total is going to be 50 ohms. Another example. If you are given a shape a polygon with lengths of its sides for example if we have this side 10 meters 
and for this side 9 meters for this side 4 meters and this one 3 meters and for this side let us say 11 meters the question is find the perimeter to find the perimeter you must add all the lengths of the sides so it is 9 plus 4 plus 3 plus 11 plus 10 and the answer is 37 meters now let us give you some examples on subtraction and the sign for subtraction is minus we say minus there is different words we can use it so from them we can understand that we must subtract a number from another for example difference the difference between two numbers less than decreased by all these words means that we must subtract look for these examples example one subtract 2813 minus 1928 you can do it also horizontally and you can do it vertically so if we rewrite it again when we want to subtract 3 minus 8 we can't do that so we must borrow from the next digit so we'll take 1 here it will be 0 we will put 1 next to the 3 it will be 13 13 minus 8 is 5 now 0 minus 2 also we can't do it we must borrow 1 from 8 it became 7 and the 0 becomes 10 10 minus 2 is 8 7 minus 9 the same thing borrow 1 from 2 it will become 1 and 7 becomes 17 minus 9 this gives us 8 and 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0 we can delete it it doesn't add any value for the number so our answer is 885 now look for the next example subtract 349 from 2702 this question you be careful when you solve it because you must put the number comes after from first so we must write 2702 minus 349 now 2 minus 9 we must borrow from the 0 we have nothing the 0 will borrow from 7 it will become 6 and the 0 becomes 10 then we will borrow 1 from it it will become 9 give it to the, to the 2 it will be 12 12 minus 9 is 3 9 minus 4 is 5 6 minus 3 is 3 and 2 minus 0 or just bring it down and this is our final answer 2353 example 3 find the difference 
between 756 and 201. This means that we must subtract these numbers. So it is 756 minus 201. 6 minus 1 is 5. 5 minus 0 is 5. And 7 minus 2 is 5. And so our answer is 555. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you.